I've always kind of had a life full of high strangeness. I'm in the right place at the right time. And Bigfoot honestly wasn't even on my radar until I had a couple of pretty strange events happen to me. And after that, I started focusing on the Patterson-Gimlin film, which is the 1967 original shaky cam film. And I don't know, the obsession kind of grew from there that I wanted to recreate Patty as she's known. So yeah, they're just kind of my love letter to the mystery of Sasquatch and the keeper of the woods or whatever <laughs> you want to call it. Starting this project, I had just come off of the Stephen Dorff Commission. I was feeling pretty good about him. And diving into such a big project, every step of the way, I kind of like remember, oh yeah, this is so much work. You know, this, I underestimate every time going into these projects, how much it's gonna have to take out of me to finish them. They start with steel skeletal structure and then kind of a steel rod that I bend by hand and form all the musculature. And then the hands, feet, face are all carved out of foam, made molds, made casts, and are eventually fiberglass. And then lastly, I go out into the woods and collect muscadine vines, lots and lots of muscadine vines. And drag those back and that originally came from the idea that you know Bigfoots have been reported building structures out in the woods forever. Um, they call them teepees or tree bends where they seem to tie trees together and weave them together in huge kind of arches and stuff. And nobody knows why they're doing it and nobody as far as I know has film of them doing that but I just kind of thought to tie in a sculpture of them with the same things that they seem to use for their own artistic expression and also what they would be blending in with and hiding amongst out in nature was interesting to me so i don't know as i hide out in the woods away from society and kind of like do my thing playing with sticks i'm building this creature and realizing that i am just building you know it because i it, there's a reflection of me somewhere in there, somewhere in this like beast out in the woods. It's how I feel about myself or something. So like each work is just a chance to kind of explore my own psyche and maybe in a way I otherwise wouldn't. And that takes a lot of work, you know, to dig deep in yourself and find what you really are. When your work is play, then you want to get out and climb that mountain. You want to get out and create this thing that is a reflection of you because by the time you've finished it, you know, that reflection's changed. And so it's almost like capturing the moment in time that I was like this. Yeah, they're a big undertaking and I don't know, I have fun doing it.